Good morning, folks. Let's hope you're awake already because we've got another earthquake striking an alert area, some fascinating papers, and weather around the world. But we begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star didn't have any CMEs fired in Earth's direction, but the features departing have begun to get a bit active with flashing of small C-class flares in a sunspot group and an ejecta streamer from the northwestern quadrant, not at Earth. You see the little flares here, nothing concerning, and that is unlikely to change at least until this guy begins fully departing the Earth-facing disk, just doesn't have the magnetism to pull off big flares at the moment. Solar wind here. You can see that purple and orange, the telemetry in general, is not terribly intense, but that blue shift above them means the magnetism of the solar wind changed, and we indeed ended the cosmic ray health alert as the KP bumped upward. Yesterday, our news had Earthquake Watch in the title. Planets are less than 24 hours from the start of this month's alignment, a CME coupled, the phi angle of the solar wind shifted, and this coronal hold began directly facing Earth. If you were watching the regions on alert yesterday for earthquakes, we began seeing the energy migrating from both polar regions towards the equator. A few hours later, it was confined there as Japan, Chile, New Zealand, none of those areas were on alert. A magnitude 6.3 struck in the heart of Indonesia, due south of the Philippines, and as you'll remember, that's the white star mark where the earthquake struck, definitely within the alert zone. Eyes open for more. Top articles today include this from someone to whom I listen very carefully, a thorough debunking of a recent claim of high geomagnetic activity during the Maunder Minimum. Up next... We've got evidence that our solar system was once just a massive cloud of dust and gases until a supernova blasted our system and introduced the outside energy required for formation. Lastly, comet chemistry gets a boost and the multi-comet survey is giving us a window into the organic molecules present. Apparently, the water mixing ratios of formaldehyde, ammonia, and acetylene go up as you get closer to the sun, and methanol, hydrogen cyanide, ethane, and methane are released directly from the comets themselves. We're jumping to Espana, where the worst rainstorm in 30 years flooded streets, forced evacuations, and even turned deadly as people were unable to escape as the waters rose. We are also seeing deadly flooding in southern Thailand. Our hearts go out to the more than 150,000 families, more than half a million people in total, who have had major losses in this event. Your support over at SuspiciousObservers.org is why we can have these morning news every day, the six observers' website resources, conferences, books, etc. You are very much appreciated. Right now, we've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.